look at the acceleration point here. Now right there, you can really see it. Right there's where it's happening. Lots less movement on this side. I always look at the trail arm to see. This one here is real whippy. Watch how whippy that arm is. This one here is much softer, much slower. So much slower that non-bowling side was, which tells me that the ball is coming down naturally. Let's see your second shot. Pretty good there again, too. Let me get just real speed here. That's pretty good. Let me blow that up. That's pretty good. I don't see much uh, much variance there. That's pretty good. That's really smooth. First one, yep. Wow, look at that. Look at that. Watch this one. That's huge. Big, big time. I mean, that's, that's got to be that's six inches or more. Now you're talking, you get less lateral movement like that, it's hard for that ball to go offline. Just, just more opportunity to repeat. Now this is really good. Uh, I'm curious to see what the second one did. Look at that. This one here, you're a, I mean, you're a ball inside the line almost. A little tighter here. When you got a swing that's pretty tight on that same line, now you can do all kinds of stuff with your hand because the ball's not moving off course. When you got a swing that does this, and then you got to drop it to the inside, you limit it to what you can. That's why Malat can't do a lot with his hand. He's got too much movement. He's got a, he's got this out, drops it to the out, and then he really tucks it on the end. Watch this foot, I've noticed this too. Watch the angle of that foot a little bit. Sometimes looks like you get just a too, too angled at the start.
That was good. Just an experiment. A lot of times I'll have a guy actually bump it outside and then tuck it. Those are different push away zones you can you can do um, just to create a different leverage point at the bottom. Yeah, but, I'm uh, having trouble getting it out to the right. Sometimes I'll push it away intentionally to the left now yeah. to get it out. Just to bump it out. I'm okay. trying to play square and it's still going to bottom, push away a little yeah. bit to the right. I work with Mike a lot with that. We different Depending on your launch angle in the front, basically different push away zones you push it to. But this is really good. That 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 first one was outstanding. That was really good. It's pretty good stuff, Dad. I noticed like when I first got here the how far inside he was like yeah. to the left. Because I remember you commented last year how he was right on the line. Yeah. yeah. That was the other thing. I was pushing it out to the right with my head inside of it and driving yeah. around. It's like I overcompensated. It's amazing in this game is is there's things I worked on back in college twenty years ago and they'll creep right back into your game. Really? Oh so you you, you, you scratch your head. Sure. Yeah. You, you just you develop a bad technique. And when you sit and analyze it, you go, that's the same stuff I worked on the last 20 years. That's why you got it, to, it's good to, it. yeah, you just got to have, you got to have a good, you got to have a good pair of eyes behind you. That's the best pair of eyes because you can slow it down. <laughs> like this stuff here, without camera work, you'd, you'd never see that. Yeah. And you, I could see it was behind your head, but you could, it would be really hard, hard to see how far, just how much you improved on it too. But uh, here's what I would do, Chris. I would, um, I would, your biggest flaw physically right now is the acceleration point. And then your setup just got a little too far to the inside. I just set up is just a visual. And then I would really, would you practice here? I wouldn't practice so much on striking. I'd practice on your swing, make sure your swing mechanics stay strong. And then I would do what we talked about is get lined up and keep going as far left as possible. I mean, just keep your entry point, entry angle, not entry angle, but your exit point where it should be, and just keep moving your feet until you run out of room. And just keep trying to get there by changing your, your rotation up, okay? And then get back to point A, comfort zone, and start going the opposite direction. And then work on those pressure points, left, center, right, and then you can do, you, you can close it to open, to angle, to forward. So those are all, to me, those are all things that, uh, I, when, when I practice, I look forward to because I want to see just how sharp. Because when I'm really sharp, I can I can go right up to the ball return and, and basically close the lane with my hand too. When I'm not sharp, I got no chance. So yeah, you're uh, 